Hello everybody and welcome! Today we're looking at the first demo for Balsa. If you're wondering why, this is the new game from the original creator of Kerbal Space Program, Felipe Falange, who usually went by the nickname Harvester. So naturally, I was wondering what he was up to since he left as head developer for KSP in 2016. Well, this is it. Balsa is a model flight simulator that will go into early access in summer 2020, according to the new studio The Irregular Corporation, having put out a first demo just a few days ago. So keep in mind everything you see here is still rough around the edges since we are not looking at a finished product. While Balsa does have some similarities with KSP, it is also very different. First, you will not go to space in this game. Not ever. Your model aircraft will mainly stay above ground, or crash into buildings, or onto the ground. Also, the game can be played in VR. The controls for moving your player character around and the way you have to grab your aircraft before launching it, not just press a button, are all interactions that are probably better to play in VR instead of a mouse and keyboard. By the way, even though this is an early demo, my Xbox One controller was immediately recognized and I was able to control my craft with it without any problem. Controls feel responsive and flying these tiny planes around and trying to thread them through tight obstacles is fun. Graphics are ok for a first demo, with drawing distance appearing to be a bit disappointing. Notice the vegetation popping up while we get closer to the mountains, also some very low resolution textures still in the game. And the player looks like a blue blob. Yeah, that's me. I have changed a bit. What I haven't been able to find out is whether or not there are or will be wind or thermals in this game. Something you would want to watch out for when flying a model airplane, especially when dealing with gliders like this one. What I did find out is that you can either recover your airplane by pressing a button or do in it in the traditional way by running towards where it landed or crashed. You can even climb ladders or go to a rooftop should your model plane land on one. Or jump off of it if you miscalculated where it really landed. I didn't find any option to head to the top of one of the big skyscrapers though. But I found some interesting posters. Major malfunction? Tell me more! The empty cars in the middle of the street feel a bit spooky though. By the way, Balsa is not just a nice name, it is a type of wood that is very lightweight and therefore suited as material to build model airplanes. Speaking of building, when entering the editor coming from Kerbal Space Program, you will feel right at home. Aside from some minor changes, the behavior is very similar to KSP. You have your part lists on the left and the rocket, uh, sorry, the airplane in the center with mirror symmetry and snap, as well as translation and rotation controls. The part list is very limited at the moment. So far you only have one electric motor and one propeller as well as a few fuselage and wing parts, but this is expected to change until the release of the final game. The wings, however, are procedural, so you have more control over the shape of them. That is something I personally would like to see in KSP as well, or the upcoming sequel KSP2 for that matter. In order for the motor to spin, you need power. This battery pack is put inside, of course, which is made easy thanks to the switchable interior view. Makes one wonder what else you could put inside of that little airplane. Similar to Kerbal Space Program, Balsa offers toggles for center of mass, center of thrust, and, this is new, some indicator for aerodynamic stability. I don't really know how to read this and I have to admit that I did not read any tutorial. But it appears to me the blue and orange colors display how air will behave when the plane flies at a certain speed, as well as the default angle of attack that the plane will have at that speed. I am no aerodynamics expert, in fact building airplanes is one of the things I am still very bad at in KSP. But the angle of attack indicator tells you whether your plane is more prone to pitch up or down during flight. If you are a model builder, which I am not but a friend of mine is, then a big part of finishing your model is painting it. Balsa provides you with the option to select different colors for different parts of the plane. 
I'm sure there is even more to discover since the stock vehicles also have some decals on them. I just spent a bit more than an hour with this demo, so there is a lot more to learn. So, is Balsa a spiritual successor to Kerbal Space Program? Well, it is really too early to tell, to be honest. What is apparent, though, is the fact that Balsa appears to stem out of a love for flying. Some details are a nice touch and it seems like there will be contests and multiplayer modes where you can race your airplanes against each other. Remember flying under the bridge in Kerbal Space Program? That is easy in Balsa. But try to thread your model plane through the smaller gaps within the girder of the bridge? Now that is a challenge. I'm definitely going to keep watching the development of Balsa. I see a lot of potential fun in building your little plane and flying it around some nice surroundings that actually have some detail to them. Some things seem almost copy and pasted from KSP, for instance the editor mechanics, but Simple Rockets 2 did it almost the same way, so why forcibly change something that people already know and that works? Anyhow, this is not a review, just a little hey, let's check Balsa out for me, because I wanted to see what Harvester was working on. If you want to check it out, the demo is available on Steam and the game is supposed to enter early access in summer, so watch out for that if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies, the links are in the description. Thanks for watching, goodbye.